What's up, Cody fans? We are going to be installing Cody onto the Fire Stick today using a program called ADB Fire. And that's just a program for the computer. It's for PC, Mac, or Linux. This software is free. You can get it at jocala.com, like that right there. It's just ADB link. We get to this website, scroll down past that screenshot, and then we're gonna see the downloads area. Just select the one for your operating system and download that and install it. I'm on Windows, so I'll go ahead and click Windows. Then it takes us to this download gateway, so here we can actually just click begin download right under start download there. So we click on that and then it should kind of process the download and show us some mirrors and then we can actually download the file. All right, so there's our primary download location right there. Let's go ahead and click on that. And okay, so that's downloading now. If we look in the bottom left corner, there it is right there, ADB something 205.exe. All right, so it looks like that is done. I'm just gonna launch that exe file, that executable file for Mac. It's gonna be like probably a DMG file. So I'll open this exe file since I'm on Windows. And then we get this security warning here. Let's hit yes, authorize. And then we just hit next. It's just asking us what folder we wanna install that to. Let's do C colon forward slash ADB link, that's fine, whatever the default is. And then let's add a, de a desktop shortcut and hit next. All right, so now I can hit install. All right, that's gonna install for us. And now let's just hit next and then launch. At this point, we actually have to go over to the Fire Stick, so let's grab the Fire TV remote. And then let's go to the settings area of the Fire TV. And then from there we go to system. And then we go to about. And we're just getting the IP address of the Fire Stick or Fire TV. Let's go down to network. So there's our IP address right there. It says IP address colon 192 dot blah 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 dot whatever. And then one more thing that we have to do in the Fire TV here is just go back hit the back button here and then we want to go down to developer options and then make sure the ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources are both on just like this kind of blue like that now we come back to the uh, computer here all right and so now here is the ADB link application here the software uh, this is the same thing as ADB Fire, it's just another name. It used to be called ADB Fire, now it's called ADB Link. So it says control devices up here, let's click on new and just type in a uh, description. Let's put something simple, let's put AAA and then under, under address, let's put 192.168.1.1. Nope, whoops, 192.168.1.103. Okay, so 192.168.1.103, that's my internal network address of the Fire TV. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. Now you can see there is AAA under current device right there, and now I'm just gonna hit connect up here. Okay, so now you can see it says connected devices right there, status device. So we should be good to go. We should be all connected to the Fire TV in the background here. And now we can use any of these functions in this ADB link application, such as install APK right there. So that's the most important thing. You can use that to install Kodi. Basically at this point, you just go download the Kodi APK file from Kodi.tv, that's the website. And you download that APK file and you click install APK in here, locate the file on your hard drive, and transfer it over or sideload it over but using ADB Fire instead of a phone. So I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so here we are at the Kodi Downloads page, kodi.tv forward slash download. And here under the Android icon, I'm just gonna go to the ARM link right there, ARM. That's the type of processor that the Fire TV has, so that's what we need to download. 
And so that's downloading in my browser here. As you can see, it's gonna take uh, another couple seconds. But anyway, after that's done, we're just gonna open up our ADB link in our system uh, menu here. Open that up, and then we're gonna go to install APK. I'm gonna make sure that download's all complete first. Before we do that, it looks like it's trying to finish up the download. All right, so it looks like it finished up that download. It closed the connection on the download. Now let's click install APK. And then it says select app to install. All right, so at this point I'm just selecting that APK file that I downloaded in my browser. So that should be in my downloads folder. I already went there. Here's my downloads folder right here. And here is the APK file that we're looking for. So I select that and hit open. And now it says install, yes or no, and I hit yes. So at the bottom there, it says ADB running. We're just gonna give that a good minute or two to sideload or install or transfer that APK file, which is Cody, over to our Fire TV. So it should be taking care of that right now in the background via Wi-Fi, that's how this works. And by the way, you must have this PC on the same Wi-Fi network as the Fire TV, otherwise it doesn't work. That's how it transfers the APK file is over the network over the Wi-Fi. So you can see this is running, it's probably gonna take a minute or two or three, like I said. All right, so that took about two or three minutes. With that green bar at the bottom finally completed and then it's popped up a little box that said installed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK right there. And then let's grab the Fire TV remote right here. Let's go back into the home screen of the Fire TV. And then now let's go to apps. And there is Cody right there. So that's pretty much it. So now Cody is installed. Let's just go launch it. All right, so there we have it. So Cody is all started up. It's all installed. Now at this point, you just go install TV add-ons. I have tutorials for that at clawtv.com or codyfiretvstick.com. So check out some of those tutorials install some TV add-ons, maybe even get a Bluetooth controller so you can play some emulators and some old classic games. But anyway, that's how we install Kodi on the Fire TV using ADB Link. So subscribe to my channel and enjoy Kodi.